Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. In this episode we're exploring Fort Intius, a fort that we discovered a long, long time ago when we were doing some other things in general around the area. I think we were actually trying to find Boethius Shrine maybe? I know, uh, I know we did go to Arrowshaft Cavern and the Collapsed Mine at some point as well, but I do not remember why I did this and why I found this area. Those deer were enjoying a peaceful meal. How dare that mud crab. Anyways. Uh, Fort Intius has a Nurn Root that is stationed right here, and honestly, I thought I grabbed that before, but I guess not. On top of that, it also has a chest on the internal of the walls. Internal of the walls? I mean, I hope the walls are internal. Uh... Hello? Oh, what? I, it's so worn down over time that the stairs are, are, um, <laughs> falling down, I guess? Oh god, that's a specific thing that I don't remember the name for when it's all sinking down into the swamp land. And there is one more chest. It is on the second level, and I am actually trying to get to it. I'm just really bad at it. Hmm. Is it on the second level? Well, I think I'm just stupid. Um. Hmm. Should be just down here. Is it on the inside? <clears throat> is it under something? Did it disappear? Because there is supposed to be a chest right here. Oh, it's it's in this little hole. All right, you find some gold, some loot here. And I, I genuinely was struggling. Like, I know I've seen this before. Where did it go? Uh, this always has some really nice stuff in it, including restore personality, which is a attribute that we have had damaged. So it's actually pretty good to get that restored. Wow. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, in between episodes, I think I'm gonna go make some uh, restoration spells that restore my uh, main governing attributes. Because, honestly, walking around with this and being unable to go to a... Uh, to one of the Temple of the Divines to get this fixed. It really sucks, and I want that fixed. All right. Anyways, into Fort Intius. Fort Intius has two zones. It is inhabited by conjurers and enemies of the like, meaning some skeletons maybe, some Daedra, things like that. It has a boss level conjurer and a boss level chest. It has two zones as medium sized. I think I already said that part. All right. Hmm. Ah. The complexity of this map. I dislike it. Ooh, what's over here? Yeah, there's actually a lot of ways to enter the sepulcher. Actually, is there only one way to enter the sepulcher? There is only one way to enter the sepulcher. Which uh, has three basic enemies in it. Has two chests. Uh, the basic enemies have a 50-50 shot of being a conjurer or a daedra. Uh, ah, there's one guaranteed conjurer as well. Because I, 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 saw, I saw four enemies. And I was thinking, I thought there were only three. But apparently not. Ow. Ow. What hit me? Oh, there's a uh, Conjurer up there. Ah, oh, well, their damage is so weak. I'm Whoa! Not concerned. Listen here, brother. You're attacking the wrong person. Clearly, this, this man stole my identity. This Breton. 
No, I'm 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 not a high elf. Jesus, there we go. Okay. So we got that. I think we got the uh we got one of the chests in the area. Where's the other one? There it is. Both of these are random chests. They'll contain a bunch of random stuff, and there's another chest over here. I only thought there were two. Oops. So there's three chests in this area, and they all contain a bunch of random stuff. Nothing of it... Nothing... Nothing in them is super helpful. Though they are nice, especially if you're running low on supplies. However, my massive horde uh, dictates that I am not. And I will not be running low on supplies for some time soon. For some time soon. For some time to come. Alright. I don't get it. Uh... Oh. Why is it these oh. guys? Why not regular conjurers I mean this place is supposed to have conjurer based enemies and we actually haven't seen very many I'm just taking my time to look around and explore so I don't miss anything too big all right there's nothing over here yes I still have the map but I don't want to use the map for everything I mean imagine if you had if I uh, constantly had a guide up for doing this it would, it would be significantly more informative, but significantly less entertaining. Ooh, scamp skin. Okay. So, this way leads over here, which leads further in. Alright. And this was actually a shorter dungeon than uh, some of the mediums. I mean, some of the small size dungeons. Looks like. <sighs> Looks like. Arr! Disintegrate armor tome. We've already got that. Hmm. Interesting. I like this. This is uh this is a pretty nice area. Shame I can't turn this into like a home base or anything. Is that something you can do in Elder Scrolls Online? Like I said, I I was only a part of the beta, so I never really I never really got super into it. And when I played the beta, I thought it was pretty generic. I mean, a lot of people did though. A lot of expansions have fixed it. All right, that's actually it for that though. Feels kind of weird. This is actually gonna be the last fort we do for a while. I think the only fort that we have left, other than, other, no, that's it. I think Fort Such is the only fort we have left and Fort Such is actually a part of a quest that happens along the main quest line. So I won't be able to do that for a while. Um. If you like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. And thank you all, and have a wonderful day. Oh, wait, I don't have a good angle this time for a good piece of scenery, I guess. Uh, here, let's have a calm, relaxing river. After looking through my list, I realize now that I forgot Fort Lynchal, and we'll 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 do that in the next video.